software, a novel theory on power projection, and the national strategic significance of Bitcoin. A thesis by Major Jason P. Lowry, United States Space Force, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, February 2023. Thank you for reading. My goal with this research is to eventually write a book on this subject by converting this thesis into something much shorter, less technical, better edited, and easier to read. To that end, I greatly appreciate any feedback from readers about the concepts presented in this thesis. If you find something interesting during your reading, or if you want me to cut or expand any particular concept, please tag me on LinkedIn or Twitter at Jason P. Lowry. And let me know, I will be checking social media for tags or reviews, so any and all feedback will be read. The following is a high definition and copy edited version of my thesis submitted to DOD, and MIT in February 2023 is the final deliverable of my U.S. National Defense Fellowship. Each year, the Department of the Air Force selects two officers to serve as U.S. National Defense Fellows. This fellowship is a DOD-sponsored program where mid-career officers attend a graduate-level systems engineering program at MIT to research strategic military applications of emerging technologies. As the U.S. Space Force's first and only U.S. National Defense Fellow, I devoted my fellowship towards researching the national strategic implications of Bitcoin. By the end of this research effort, I concluded that Bitcoin could be one of the most significant military-grade security technologies to emerge in the 21st century. This document represents my final deliverable to the DOD and contains the information I've shared with the Office of the President of the United States, Office of the Secretary of Defense, and Office of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Please bear in mind that this document was written in six months while completing a full course load of graduate engineering classes at MIT. It's just a clunky first draft of a new theory that I intend to shorten and refine over time with the help of your continual feedback and support. It should be emphasized that even though I am an active duty military officer sponsored by the DOD to research Bitcoin at MIT, the theories presented in this thesis are strictly my own personal views based on what I have learned from my own academic research. This thesis does not reflect any official position or endorsement of the U.S. Department of Defense, Department of the Air Force, or MIT. Soft War, a novel theory on power projection and the national strategic significance of Bitcoin. By Jason P. Lowry, February 2023. Abstract. Current analysis of Bitcoin's underlying proof-of-work technology is almost exclusively based on financial, monetary, or economic theory. Recycling the same theoretical frameworks when performing hypothesis deductive analysis of Bitcoin has the potential to create systemic-level analytical bias, which could negatively impact public policy-making efforts and could even pose a threat to U.S. national security. This thesis introduces a novel theoretical framework for analyzing the potential national strategic impact of Bitcoin as an electro-cybersecurity technology rather than a peer-to-peer cash system. The goal of this thesis is to give the research community a different frame of reference they can utilize to generate hypotheses and deductively analyze the potential risks and rewards of proof of work technologies as something other than strictly monetary technology. The author asserts it would be beneficial for researchers to explore alternative functionality of proof of work technologies to eliminate potential blind spots, provide a more well rounded understanding of the risks and rewards of proof of work protocols like Bitcoin, and positively contribute to the development of more informed public policy in support of the March 2022 U.S. Presidential Executive Order on ensuring the responsible development of digital assets and the May 2022 U.S. Presidential Executive Order on Improving the Nation's Cybersecurity. Utilizing a grounded theory methodology, the author combines different concepts from diverse fields of knowledge. For example, biology, psychology, anthropology, political science, computer science, systems security, and modern military strategic theory to formulate a novel framework called power projection theory. 
Based on the core concepts of power projection theory, the author inductively reasons that proof of work technologies like Bitcoin could not only function as monetary technology, but could also, and perhaps more importantly, function as a new form of electro cyber power projection technology, which could empower nations to secure their most precious bits of information, including but not limited to financial bits of information against belligerent actors by giving them the ability to impose severe physical costs on other nations in, from, and through cyberspace. The author calls this novel power projection tactic, soft war, and explores the potential impact on national strategic security in the 21st century. Like most grounded theory research efforts, the primary deliverable of this thesis is a novel theory rather than a deductive analysis of a hypothesis derived from existing theory. Thesis Supervisor Joan Rubin, Executive Director System Design and Management Program. Acknowledgements. First, I would like to thank General C.Q. Brown for giving me the courage and top cover to devote myself to this research topic and to the Department of the Air Force for entrusting me with this assignment. I would also like to thank everyone in my personal life who tolerated the amount of time and mental effort I committed to this. You gave me the continual support and confidence I needed to follow through. This endeavor turned out to be more challenging than I expected in ways that I never would have expected and your support plus your sacrifice played an essential role. I would like to thank everyone who helped me formulate this grounded theory. When I first indicated my interest in this topic, I could not have imagined the amount of feedback I would receive. I feel very thankful for everyone who took the time to listen to me and challenge my reasoning. Your discourse helped me question my biases and pushed me to formulate the structure of the theory as it exists today. I owe the success of this research effort to you. Thank you for your sincere feedback. I look forward to future discussion and debate. It's impossible for me to list everyone who I wish to thank by name, but a few specific people I want to give thanks to are as follows. Adam Back, Greg Foss, Robert Breedlove, Jeff Booth, Preston Pish, Level 39, Michael Saylor, Natalie Smolensky, Asher 68W, Mike Alfred, Dennis Porter, Jason Williams, Luke Groman, Jim O'Flaherty, Susie B, Max and Stacy Kaiser, Peter McCormack, Anthony, Joe and John Pompliano, Natalie Brunel, Ben Prentice, Joe Burnett, Matthew Pines, Aaron Malone, Brandon Quidham, Brian Harrington, Tomer Strahlek, George Peacock, Nathan Perry, Corey Swan, Dylan LeClaire, Tour Demister, Marvella Hoddle, Bobby Von Huddlewitz, C.K. Snarks, Mike Hobart, Wealth Theory, Alex Gladstein, Joseph Aguera, Gazel Victoria, Taran Chatteraj, Eric Hart, Samson Moe, Phil Dubois, Jimmy Song, Nick Bashev, Kelly Lannon, Dan Held, Pones, WS Bitcoin, Mark Moss, and many, many others. It has truly been a pleasure engaging with you. I would also like to thank Rebecca for the custom drawings she provided. Biography, Major Jason Spook Lowry is a DOD-sponsored U.S. National Defense Fellow, Department of the Air Force Fellow, MIT System Design and Management Fellow, Astronautical Engineer and Active Duty Field Grade Officer in the U.S. Space Force. Prior to attending MIT, Jason served as the Director of Operations for the USSF Second Space Launch Squadron. Before that, he was a founding member of the Cotter of Officers who stood up USSF, serving as the Deputy Chief of the Commander's Action Group for USSF Space Operations Command and U.S. Space Command Combined Force Space Component Command. Jason transferred into USSF from the U.S. Air Force, where he served as an all-source intelligence analyst and subject matter expert in electronic warfare, blast and ballistics effects, and space weapons system design. Jason has a decade of experience serving as a technical advisor for U.S. senior officials to include the Office of the President of the United States, Office of the Secretary of Defense, and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. He has a master's degree in aeronautical engineering from Air Force Institute of Technology, Ohio, and a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Baylor University, Texas.